Star Citizen 4.1.1 is almost at our door and there will be Invictus. A lot of new players will join the Star Citizen and that is why I'm making this video. I want to help those players and also the old players, well, all the players who are already playing this game to have the best setting for your machine. Either you have a high-end PC or low-end PC, there will be something for you in this video. I also made previous two or three videos about the Star Citizen and the best settings, so I will link them here for you to watch, so I don't have to repeat myself in these parts. So I'm going to show you today first the low-end machine and then we will switch to the high-end machine. But before we do that, we will also check out what we can do in Windows to increase our FPS. Let's get started. So as I said in my previous video, the best way to optimize your PC is of course to go to the task manager and then go to the startup process and disable everything that you do not need. Restart your PC and you will be good to go. The next thing that is slowing your PC is core isolation. So what you want to do is go to the Windows security, device security, core isolation, details, turn it off. Your device may be vulnerable, technology that making you safe, but in CPU heavy task, it will reduce the power of your PC and therefore the FPS that you can get. So turn this off as soon as possible and just restart after this is done. Next thing that we have to do is also go to the NVIDIA control panel. Once you are inside of the NVIDIA control panel, go to the manage 3D settings. Now here is very important. Put the shader catch size to 10 gigabytes. If you want to do something that is very important, use this. Now if you are using Vulkan, if you enable 10 gigabytes, you will have less crashes. So try this setting. If it doesn't work, reduce it to 5 GB and see again. But I think that 10 GB is optimal and best and showed the best results for me. After I switch to 10 GB, my crashing on Vulkan has stopped. So maybe it will help you too. Also, if you have a monitor that is, for example, as I have 120 FPS and your GPU is able to produce 300 FPS, you are wasting your electricity and your graphics card. So cap your frames on the FPS of your monitor. Always go 3 FPS below so that there is no stuttering. This is very important to use also if you have, like me, high-end PC. So once you have a high-end PC, I have this problem. I'm playing, for example, in space and I have almost 300 FPS. And then I switch around to a planet and then suddenly everything drops to 30 FPS. This is happening because Star Citizen is not optimized game. And this happens only for an instant. And this instant is enough that I have so choppy game that it looks like nothing good. So if you cap your FPS, your GPU should not push all the way to the 300 FPS and it will stay at the lower FPS and give you smoother experience. For the lower end machine, this is also very important. If you have a PC that can only push around 70 FPS, but your monitor is 140 FPS, so cap your frames a little bit underneath the 70 FPS, maybe 65, and you will have much more smooth game gameplay. Of course, test it for yourself, but for me, this works wonders. If you have a monitor that is GC compatible, like my OLED TV, I'm using this, of course, with the vertical sync. Make sure to disable the vertical sync inside of the game if you are going to use this. Using a G-Sync and V-Sync will give you a little boost and you will have very very smooth gameplay. Test this for yourself of course, don't believe me on the word, but for me this works like magic. The power management mode. Now you can set this to highest priority, but I will not do this here. I don't want my GPU, which is 600 watts, to use all the power maximum all the time. Instead, you will go to the program settings and you will select Star Citizen. If you cannot find it here and add program and find the Star Citizen. Here is the Star Citizen exe, add selected program. Now go all the way down and find power management mode and select prefer maximum performance and then your PC will give better results inside of the Star Citizen but for every other application you will have no problem at all. The low latency mode. 
In my last video I made a mistake, I put this on. When you put this on, your GPU will produce less frames because it wants to give them as faster as possible. But if you turn this off, you will have higher DPS inside of Star Citizen. Now Star Citizen is not important so much that you have this on. But if you are playing something like Call of Duty or any other professional game where you need every FPS as fast as possible, then do turn this on 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 or ultra, depending what kind of competitive gameplay you play. But still, I will not use this here, I will go to the program settings and do it here inside of the Squadron 42. So your every game is optimized the best for you. If your PC is at the lower end spectrum, and you are able to use image scaling, you can use it here. So you will, for example, turn on the GPU scaling and sharpening and then select resolution that you want. I don't have this enabled because I don't need it and because I'm recording the videos. But for example, if you are playing on 2K, select full HD and then upscale it to 2k and that will give you a lot better fps so try this for yourself test it is it working good for you is it worth of sacrificing a few frames or not if you do not want to use the image scaling of nvidia there is also a cool app that i will recommend to you so the cool app that i'm going to recommend you is looseless scaling now i don't have anything from this i just have this bought for myself because it is absolutely amazing you do not want to use this if you are recording video because it will be less good quality but for scaling yes you can select everything here you have everything from dlss to fsr and try what works better for you if you do not want to use the scaling you can use for example frame generation i always use the latest one 30 it is really really good and you can use the multiplier for capture i use dxg but you can test also vgsc and scaling i use the scaling inside of the star citizen not outside but you, you are welcome to try the both of them if you have hdr monitor and it's enabled click this on also select g-sync support on here you can select the the graphics card which want you to use so i'm using this one and output display which one i want to use this one and enable multi display mode so you don't have any flickering and that is it all you have to do now is click scale and click on the star citizen when you start it this will give you phenomenal results you'll have much smoother frame rates but be warned this is not a magical software this software will only give you the fake frames. For example, if you have 30 FPS, it will create another 30 which are fake. So 30 plus 30 are 60, but it's not the normal 60 because it's copying this choppier 30. So if you have, for example, 60 FPS and you use this, then you will have 120 FPS, which is much, much better. So to use this efficiently, we have to go inside the game and optimize the game so you can use the looser scaling the best. So let's go inside of the Star Citizen and I'm going to first show you the settings for the lower end machine and then we will switch to the high end machine. Alright, here we are inside of the game. Let's go to the settings, options, graphics. Now, the first thing that I want to show you is this thing here. Play with the brightness and contrast. Now I've made a lot of videos and I've showed how the DirectX 11 with the HDR looks and also I've showed the Vulcan with all of these things with fake HDR. I think for now still the most stable is DirectX 11 so use DirectX 11. If you want a risk but have a little bit smoother frame rate switch to Vulcan and when you switch to Vulcan this thing here becomes very important because Vulcan is a little bit washed out compared to DirectX 11. So you can increase your brightness or contrast to make it a little bit more vibrant colors. I love to use around 65 on brightness and 55 contrast and gamma I leave on 50. So do test this for yourself, for your monitor, the resolution. I always recommend using the native resolution of your monitor. Since I have OLED TV and it's 4K, my native is 4k window mode you can use full screen boardless or window i recommend boardless because in my opinion it works best i can easily go out of the game go back yeah but choose what you like i don't know what this thing does 
doesn't change anything for me but if you know write me down in the comments it will be cool to know the upscaling so if you have a lower end machine definitely go either the performance or balanced if you want more fps but still you want to retain something some of the good picture use balance or use auto maybe the auto will work the best for you so try that upscaling technology if you have a nvidia graphics card use dlss if you have amd fsr and do try the cig tcr but for me dlss work perfectly and i have also dlss forces i have 5000 series graphics card which is automatically enabled if you have hdr monitor and you have hdr enabled use hdr with directx 11 it will give you amazing results now the quality it doesn't matter if you have high-end machine or low-end machine go with the high if you for example have a pc that can only push 30 fps on orison you will still have to use high because when you use these things other like low and medium you will not get the good frame rates and the game will still look bad this is happening because star citizen is still not optimized and it's best working on high and very high if you have high-end machine like i am having use very high and apply it scatter object distance use medium if you are on low end machine don't worry about it the medium will be enough the low will not change much for you if you have a high end machine go all the way to high water number of simulated regions i'm using high preset even if i have the ultimate machine because very high doesn't give me any change also if you have a lower end machine try with a very low or low or medium i don't think you will see a bigger difference so i recommend using medium but test it for yourself i have not tested this too much terrain desolation distance as i said before on low end machine use medium on high end use high the screen space shadows low end machine again medium high end machine high because the game is not optimized low doesn't give you any advantage now the most important thing the planet volumetric clouds before you could turn this off but right now you cannot go for the medium it will give you the best results as a low-end machine high-end machine you can use high or very high or if you want photo mode slow i will post a two screenshots here from very high and photo mode and i couldn't see so much difference in the picture but it's massively impacting my performance so i'm still using very high if i use the photo mode i will sacrifice over 25 fps for little to nothing gain in a view so yeah if you have a high-end machine stick to very high you don't need a photo mode or slow now field of view is very important since star citizen is a little bit chopped out and sometimes when you start the game like me it was all the way on 85 this will give you a narrow view and your fps will be very very bad because of this i don't know why is this happening so use 100 or 105 or 110 whichever you like more my sweet spot is 105 and it looks amazing on my monitor if you have an ultra wide monitor this will maybe be all the way cramped up to 120 or something so see what works best for you motion blur i recommend turning this off but i use it as a yes because i'm recording the videos v-sync turn this off sharpening this doesn't change much and chromatic abrasion, so i love to use it at 50 percent and that will be the best film green disable and season information qr code disable unless you want to send something to cig as a low-end machine one more time here go with the high and everything else to the medium to the very high end machine use this what i'm using and if you have computer somewhere in the middle test these things find what works best for you see how much you want to sacrifice of visuals to get a little bit better fps every computer is different yeah you have to play a little bit with this like i did and now for the end the bonus tip which will give you instantly around 10 fps without any problems go to the search type in device manager open it scroll all the way to the system device open it and search for high precision event timer once you are here disable device yes now this thing is used for the people who are developing apps coding and such stuff so if you do this thing do not disable this and that was it my fellow citizens this is everything that i have for you choose this wisely 
as I said before, it is very important for you to test this for yourself, to find what is working for you perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please don't hesitate to subscribe, like this video and share it with your friend because you can help someone else. Until next video, have fun out.